हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द इश्यूज रिलेटेड टू द इन लेवल्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन नाउ टुडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट द एडवांटेज ऑफ आई ओवर डिस्क्रीट कंपोनेंट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे स्टॉपिंग बट बिफोर दैट दोज हुव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द फ्यूचर नोटिफिकेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट एडवांटेज ऑफ टूडेज टॉपिक now moving on to the first advantage the size and the weight ic technologies offer reduction in size that is minimization and weight of the circuit now the meaning of this advantage here is when we place a discrete component on circuit board or a pcb they take up quite number of spaces and after a connect making connection with them all the component the circuit boards become heavy but the ics when they are manufactured due to minimization they become small in size as we have seen like the motor ic how the the ic is very small but the work that ic is done the work that ic is doing it's were quite large they they are ic controlling the motor so uh, the only advantage here of ic technology is that it reduces the size and and the weight of the ic is also reduced now the moving on second advantage is increasing reliability unlike the discrete components circuits where individual transistors and other components wire together or placed on a circuit board ic allow many extra components to be included economically what does this here means that if on a circuit board i place the only transistors only limited number of transistors i can place uh, like 10 20 or 30 but in ics you have seen that ic is made up of billions or trillions of transistors so this here is a uh, advantage of ic that we can make an ic using many uh, components many million components uh, unlike the discrete components so this was the two advantages of the uh, of the ic now moving on to the third advantage now the third advantage of ic is here is reduction in cost since hundreds of identical circuits can be built simultaneously on a single wafer the cost is reduced and the total cost is de- decreased as the scale of integration increases means the ics which is, which are made are uh, the cost of them is less nowadays because they are made from a single silicon wafer so we we can make many thousands of ics using a single silicon wafer we can uh, connect many components on them using different methods we will be studying in the future the next advantage here is reduction in power consumption it is sometimes difficult to fully appreciate the revolutionary changes that were made possible through the development of ics it means that when you see in the past that the first computer when it was made it was a size of a room and for that we have to we have to arrange an air conditioning unit which keeps it cool and prevents from heating up because it takes more power for running that computer me that kilowatt power it takes kilowatt power to gen, uh, to run that computer but the development of ics this the uh, that computer now reduced to the size of a laptop as you have seen the the laptops uh, take less power so we can thank the ic for such development so this was the advantages of ic over discrete components so i hope you understand this uh, topic this uh, advantages so i will see you in the next video with another topic till then stay home stay safe and wear a mask thank you very much Bye.